Hi, and welcome to Toolbarn.com's Barn Banter. I'm Gary Williams, and today we're going to give you some concrete information about working with concrete. We'll have some fun because we've got a number of demonstrations to show you. First, we're going to take a look at the Makita MM4 Power Cutter. Then, we've got a representative from Bosch here who's going to show you a system or a device that will give you X-ray vision just like Superman's. Okay, it's not really just like Superman's, but it's a pretty amazing device. And finally, if you're working with drop-in anchors, we're going to show you an amazing system from uh, DeWalt and Powers Fasteners that will help you do that job more quickly and easily, and it'll give you a great result. Stay tuned. Hey, if you've ever installed drop-in anchors in concrete, you know it can be just a little bit frustrating uh, to not really know if you've got the anchor in all the way, if it's set really well. Well, the Powers Smart DI Plus system takes care of that, and it does so in a pretty simple way. Uh, it comes with a series of bits of different sizes and a series of setters, uh, setting tools that are different sizes, and of course, anchors that are different sizes. But basically what you do is you put this in a rotary hammer and you drill your hole, and it's a predetermined depth. So you drill the hole with this thing, you put the setting tool on over it, and it just twists on and locks in place. And then you use the rotary hammer and this little combination of tools to, to drill down or to hammer down onto the anchor. And the process, as you put these things into the concrete, abrades that blue off the top of the anchor. And when you look down upon it in the concrete and you see a silver top, that blue is all gone, you know that the anchor is properly set. You know that you're done. You know that it's in there and that it's going to hold. So with this kit, you get the bits, you get the setting tools, you get this T-Stack 3 case, and you also get 400 anchors of different sizes that will fit inside, inside this case. You also get this DeWalt rotary hammer and a case to go with all of these things. So by the time you put everything together, you put your anchors in the case, you put your bits, your, your setting tools, everything, you've really got a great system that you can take out to the work site and you know, you know that as you work with these things that you're doing a quality job, that you're setting the anchors very safely and quickly, and it's really a great system. So it's something that if you have a need for this kind of a, of a tool and for these kinds of, or this kind of equipment, that you really ought to take a look at. You'll find it very worth your while. This is the Makita MM4 Power Cutter, and very significantly, it's the world's first power cutter driven by a four-stroke engine. Now, why is that a big deal? Well, most of these things are driven by two-stroke engines, and with a two-stroke, you have to mix oil with the fuel. One of the leading causes of failure with these things is an improper fuel mixture with those two strokes. So, the Makita obviously helps avoid all that. Now, this thing runs quieter, it runs more fuel efficiently, and it runs a lot cleaner, and that's also a big deal. For example, in California, you can't even sell a two-stroke engine because of emissions regulations. Now, this saw generates up to 5.1 maximum horsepower and over 9,000 RPMs. It's a great solution for a lot of different people, such as masons, welders, road crews, railroad crews, steel contractors, and even rescue personnel. For more information, check out toolbarn.com. Obviously, before you start cutting into concrete or drilling into it or anything else, you really need to know what's underneath that concrete. I mean, you could have live wires, you could have copper pipe, PVC, rebar, any number of things that you really don't want to get into, especially when you don't know they're there. So, Zohar Fatuktawala from Bosch has brought something that will kind of give uh, everybody their own sense of x-ray vision, just like Superman's, or kind of like that, right? That is correct. What do you have for us, Zohar? Over here I have the DTEC 150. Basically, this is a detection device that picks up rebar, copper, live wire, wood, steel, and concrete. So you know what's underneath there? You know what's underneath there. Yeah. And it also can be used on drywall and in-floor for radiant heating system as well. Cool. Simple way to put it, it's, this has selection, so you can choose what surface you're using it on. Right. So right now we're using it on concrete, so basically I select the concrete, I hit the select button, and then basically I just scan this unit across. And what it'll do is, as right now it's, yeah. it's picking up something that's non-ferrous, so it could either be copper or PVC. Right. And okay. it also tells you the depth, which is critical, because sure. when you're going to drill, you really need to know how deep you need to drill before you hit that rock. And that's always a big deal when you're working on a project. How deep is something? What's behind the wall? How deep before exactly. you hit it? That's always a huge exactly. deal, right? Right. And concrete, deep concrete, we have six inches. Wet concrete, three. Cured concrete, you know, wet concrete is like not completely cured. Yeah. Then you have regular concrete and floral. So depending on the settings, 
the depth also changes. A lot of value in taking the guesswork out of that kind of work, I'm, I'm assuming. Most sure. definitely. Sure. Because yes. a, a small project can turn into a real expensive one if you hit the wrong thing. It can also be a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, very cool. Well, thank you very much, Zohair. I'll tell you what, if you're interested in, in this or in any of the other products that you've seen today, go to toolbarn.com. There's a great selection of these tools and a lot of other things that you may find very useful. So thanks for joining us, and we hope to see you again.